Today, we are running a pretty dumb experiment, and sadly, it's one that I've been wanting to do for a while. We are multi-miking a drum set with foams. Uh, I've wanted to do this since shooting out my AKG 414 against my iPhone, um, but we only used those as overheads. And since then, I've been curious, what if you got a bunch of phones together and actually multi mic a drum set like how you typically would? And uh, that's exactly what we're doing today. So you probably already heard a sound example, but let me just sort of explain the setup here and then I'll give you some more sound examples. So my first concern with multi-miking a kit was that if I was going to use close mics, which I have done today, um, that I was afraid of the phone's clipping. So I engineered, I very skillfully engineered a, uh, a clever solution, I hope. I actually haven't heard the audio, so I, I don't know if this worked or not. But I've taken paper towels and I have rubber banded them to the bottoms of the phones. Now, I also wanted to be able to shoot the these out against some of the mics that I normally use. So I, again, cleverly used my rubber band engineering skills and I rubber banded these phones to the mics that I normally use so that they are in basically the same position. So I've got bass drum, snare, uh, and toms close mic and then I've got an overhead and a room mic. And I don't know if you care what the devices are, but I've got uh, my iPhone 10 in the bass drum. I've got uh, an iPhone, I think 5S on the snare, and I've got uh, a couple of old, I think they're 4S's on the toms. Uh, overhead, I think is another 5S, and then there's an iPad Air 2 as a room mic. So these are being compared against AKG 414s, my Octava overhead against a Coles 4038, so against some very expensive competition. Now, I guess you could argue that the phones are pretty expensive too, but I assume that the microphones in them are very, very cheap. So, um, I actually haven't heard the audio yet, but I know that I'm going to um, sync everything up by just taking one snare hit and getting all of the audio together from all of the phones because I had to walk around and start the voice memo app. I had to start those all separately to actually get them all recording. Um, obviously, I wasn't able to get them recording at the exact same time, so I'm going to have to sync them up in post and then um, I'll compare them against the regular microphones. So I'll probably check in with you from the computer once I've actually got everything mixed, but uh, right now, let's hear some comparisons. Comparisons. Well, that sounds like. Shit. I'm sorry, we'll get back to the audio in a second, but I gotta be honest that I do sometimes go into these videos with certain expectations, and I was really hoping to be pleasantly surprised by this experiment, and it turns out that uh, it really doesn't sound that good to multi-mic your drum set with iPhones. Um, my clever paper towel trick was not quite enough, and the close mics were still clipping, and there's just a lot of baked-in compression um, whether that's in the, the iPhone microphone or the, the software after the fact, but whatever it is, there's just a lot of compression from each mic and they sort of all sound like room mics. So um, I do still want to show you the comparison between those and the regular mics and just my really quick basic mix on the regular mics. Um, but I did, when mixing this, discover something that I thought was at least somewhat interesting and might be worth sticking around to the end of the video for. So let's get back to the audio.
All right, so there you go. The conclusion that maybe you didn't need to watch this entire video to deduce is that it doesn't sound that good to multi-mic your drum set with uh, iPhones. I did actually think that using the mic in a room position or as an overhead does do something kind of cool, but I uh, flew a little too close to the sun on this one, and turns out uh, it doesn't really work when you start to use them as close mics and really rely on that sound. Now, to that point, I did actually think it was kind of cool to blend the two mixes, to sort of use the iPhone close mics and the room mics just as an overall like dirty drum sound and then blend that in a little bit with uh, the regular mics, which were maybe a little bit sterile on their own. So um, I wouldn't personally go through the trouble of actually miking everything up with phones just to get that dirty drum sound. But in this case, I thought it kind of worked. and. I might in some situations just use like one or maybe two phones in kind of interesting locations and then blend that into the final sound if I wanted something kind of gnarly and dirty like that. So let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for sticking around till the end and I will see you in the next one.